More than five billion people worldwide do not have access to safe or affordable surgical care, and it's responsible for upward toward 16 to 17 million deaths per year worldwide. This kind of problem is of a huge magnitude and one that I've taken a personal interest in, and I've been looking at ways that we could participate in solving the problem of global surgical shortage and the absence of surgical care. Welcome to Global Surgical Initiatives, Chabirua Surgical Facility. Chabirua Surgical Center is a, an initiative under the Global Surgical Health Initiatives, which was founded specifically to help meet the, need, the surgical needs for the community and the rest of the country. We have opened our doors effective July 2019 having undergone construction since 2017. We are an ambulatory center. We offer outpatient services, trying to bring a new shift to surgical services by breaking the stereotype that all patients who undergo surgery must stay in hospital bedridden for a while. Chabirua Surgical Facility is a self-sustaining facility Enhancing modern technology is a priority to create an excellent environment to quicken patient recovery. We are currently running 99% of the power requirements on 33 kVA harvested solar power, a backup generator and 100 kVA Umeme utility power. The water needs are met by the harvested 50,000 liters of rainwater stored underground, supplemented by 20,000 liters of water supplied by National Water and Sewerage Corporation. We manage our medical gases requirements through a well-designed and installed medical gas infrastructure. The facility has also set an infrastructure to perform telesurgeries. Doctors in a live operation can be able to cooperate, coordinate uh, with uh, students that want to learn about surgery and uh, surgical operations. So they can be able to do, uh, to communicate. A doctor can be able to tell them whatever operation is happening or anything else. Or even other doctors, they can work together on a patient even when they are not at Chavira. The clinical department is comprised of three units, nursing, anesthesiology, and surgery. So we receive our patients. Uh, most of them are referred from our nearby soft, uh, soft power clinic, but some are self-referrals. So they go to OPD where they meet the nurse who assesses them prior to meeting the surgeon for surgical assessment. So the surgeon, uh, depending on what he has found, either sends them to laboratory or x-ray. The medical laboratory is equipped with modern equipment and test kits able to carry out chemistry tests, biochemistry tests, full blood counts, microscopy, a blood bank, and a cold chain storage for essential reagents. The imaging unit is equipped with a powerful, versatile, productive, excellent ultrasound machine and a mobile digital X-ray that offers maximum mobility and positioning flexibility with consistent high-quality images. Both the ultrasound and the X-ray have the ability to transmit real-time images to our electronic medical record system by wireless connectivity. So for those we agree on doing surgery, we give them an appointment date. So on appointment date, they report at the facility and they are taken straight to preoperative room where the nurse assesses them and also uh, the anesthetist who does pre preoperative anesthesia assessment before they are taken into the operating room for theater and surgery. The modern techniques of anesthesia 
and pain management is key in ensuring patient safety and recovery. Uh, we have an anesthetic machine here, the universal anesthetic machine, the latest in its uh, range. It has a ventilator attached to it with a very good monitor that's able to do anti-door uh, capnography. We also have oxygen, nitrous here, and then this is the source of all our gases. Uh, this goes straight back onto the manifold. Then we also have, we're able to do video laryngoscopy. This is a glide scope. Uh, right now, attached on it is an adult blade. We are able to do, we are able to use also for pediatrics. Uh, this is the size for pediatrics. It can also do bronchoscopy, fiber optic bronchoscopy. This is our bed. It can maneuver in all directions that we want it to. And then we also have very nice lights here, which give you adequate lights for the surgeon to do whatever he needs for the surgery. Uh, we do day case surgeries here, so that means we do day case anesthesia, and we have all the drugs that are needed to do that. We, we handle the uh, cases common in the communities, hernias, hemorrhoids, uh, we do all breast conditions, uh, thyroid surgeries, and uh, we are also open to respond to uh, emergency surgical conditions. Uh, like one that we are going for just after here, um, a patient uh, 53 years old has come with an obstructed um, uh, hernia, inguinal hernia, and uh, just um, the day before yesterday we had um, a young man in his 20s who had a perforated uh, ulcer, perforated PUD. After the operation has been carried out successfully, the patient is wheeled to a recovery room where full monitoring of the vital signs is carried out including pain management until discharge. A team of dedicated nurses follow them up at home to check on them and assess how they are recovering. Uh, we have a motorbike that is used by the team to go into the field. The motorbike suits the terrain of this area but we also have an ambulance which in uh, some cases where they need be, we use it to evacuate patients back to the hospital. Our medical storeroom is equipped with all pharmaceutical products, medical supplies and consumables necessary to enhance patient treatment. On September 17th, Chabira Surgical Center had its very first operation. Everybody was excited to see the dream come to reality. People were streaming live all over the world. After a period of one hour, surgery was successfully completed and the patient was wheeled to the recovery room. And after three weeks of healing, Bernard Muwanguzi tells his story. Nida <laughs> At Chavira Surgical Center, we are dedicated to saving lives through affordable surgery. 